product price relationship it is very important to understand because cpg is all about considering the product at a particular price and that's why product and price book objects are being used a lot so if we are talking about the product so basically product there is like when we create a product there is a standard price and then in the price book so if price book when like if there is like customer selling product in different countries then we need different price book so how exactly it works let's see with the help of example so i am in the schema builder how i go here is go to setup in the setup you can type schema builder and here you come and then you can select the list of objects you want to see as like the relationship so here we have the product object we have the price book which i just talked about now product to price book they have many to many relationship that is one product can have multiple price book based on if it is like available in different countries so there will be different type of prices right Dif and then uh, one price book can have multiple products and when there is many to many relationship there is a connection connecting object which is known as a junction object the connecting object or junction object is the price book entry so you can see that this is how the product and the price book are being connected so product to uh, price book it's like lookup and then price book to uh, price then price book to price book entry again it's a lookup so this is how the relationship relationship here is being formed here. so if i go back what we understand that we can create a product and there is a standard price to it that okay for 30 dollars we want to purchase a product then there is a price book so if the customer is selling in different countries for example us india australia so different price books will be there right because they are different countries the rates are different and all those things so then there is price book so product to price book like i said it is many to many relationship one product can have multiple price book and one price book can have multiple products so that's how and what is the in between object that is price book entry like we saw just now right that price book entry is the in between object which connects both of them so how it is there's a product there's a price book entry and the price book why we want to understand this relationship because in cpq there is a product and then there is a set of then there is a price to it and depending on the country to which it is selling like if there's multiple countries then we might need to sell, like set different price books so that's why product to price book is important to understand by default product have a standard price but if you want to have in different countries then we have like a price book where we can create that so we will see later in the section